It's Parm King with a foundry tip for you. And I'm making this foundry tip kind of right on the fly. I was working on my next Curse of Strahd foundry modules. As you know, well, you might not know, I'm, I've been making foundry modules for Curse of Strahd for a while now. And if you're interested in those, there's a whole video series on that. Um, they're available on my Patreon, both in PDF and foundry modules. Well, anyway, I was working on one. On Yester Hill, and I really wanted to, because I was reading in the description of Yester Hill, that there was lightning, and I wanted to create a lightning and foundry. And I figured out how to do it. So this really quick guide using Monk's Active Tile Trigger, I'm gonna show you how to make lightning. So let's first look at the effect first. I did one on a battle map, and I did one in a theater mind map. So I'm gonna show you here how it works, and you control it, the DM or GM controls it. So you just click this button here, it says lightning over here and just double click on it and let's do that again oh, that's so cool i'm going to show you on the theater of the mind map really quick i have it over there too here we go so we're, you're there theater of the mind map you're there checking out yester hill and all of a sudden so how do we do this this is really cool because i can just you know you could just make go crazy with the watches like I just thought it was so cool. Let me show you how I did this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a light source. I have a light here, and I made the light right, right up here, and I'll just turn it on. It's off right now, there it is. It's a bright light. Let's just take a look at what the light is. Okay, so the light here, I have it set. Uh, color intensity, it's really bright. I have animation torch, animation speed four, animation intensity ratcheted all the way up. Just adaptive lighting, nothing special about it, just really, really bright. I did uh, turn off constrained by walls and provide vision so everybody sees it. I'm also gonna mention something here. On my uh, theater of the mind maps, which is this one here, when I do the configuration of the map, I always make sure to turn token vision and fog exploration off, set my darkness level about to 50% because I'm using lighting on this here. So you can see this map just washes everything out and that's what you want to do is create that light there. So we got the light there. I'm going to turn it back off. That's it. If I turn it on, turn it off. And what we're going to do over here is I've created, now oh, again, you're going to need Monk's Active Tile Trigger Module for this. I've created a box over here and it's right over here. I'm going to open it up. And it's a tile. It's a tile over here. And there's some triggers on it. And the triggers are in the following order. The first trigger here I have is to set the light here. To activate the light. And so when you're going to activate a light, and I'll just activate it right here to show you how to do it. You're going to click this little um, kind of uh, what are you, crosshairs here. Click on that. And you're going to click over on the light. And then you're going to click on this light. And it's going to recognize that light. See, it's, it's put that light code in there. Okay, that was the first thing. The second thing I did was I put a pause in there for 0.2 seconds. So I have a delay actions, 0.2 seconds in there. You can change it, make it longer if you want to. And then I have deactivate, same thing. I went in there and deactivated the light. And the last thing in there is I put in play a sound file. So I have a very short lightning sound file. So it's gonna do all of those things. It's GM only, uh, controlled by the GM, and it's on a double click. Now, when I put the tile down here, um, the tile is actually, let me just show you. The tile, you're going to see, how do I get the lightning on the tile? That is actually just a written box. I just took a box over here, and I'll just show you. I just took a drawing a box, and I wrote lightning on it and colored it in, and I just placed the box right on top of the tile. So I know that's where the lightning is. And that was it. I mean, really, <laughs> it's that simple. And now when I click on it, control it and it's really cool it lights up the whole scene it's really cool when we get to the battle map um i did the same thing here's the light let's find the light on the map uh i think it is this one here yeah yeah that's it on this one um i did the same thing except for exact same light this one's constrained by walls but it does provide vision so this one is constrained by walls there it is i turn it off again and if I hit the lightning box. So what's really cool is if I put a character, I'll put a test character down here, okay? So this character has very limited vision. Well, it has vision here because I have a different light turned on. Let me, let me just turn that off for a second. Uh, I have another vision 
uh, here, another light that I've been using to create some ambience here. I'll show you that one too. That's the bonus tip. I'll show you that one. So let me get this Reset the Fog of War uh, here. And so my, my player doesn't have a lot of vision, right? But if I, turn, if I do the lightning, right, my player will be able to see. Everything is going to get lit up for my player. He'll be able to see. Or she will be able to see everything within briefly because they're going to see that light for vision for two seconds. So everything is going to light up and then it's going to go dark for them. And they're going to go back to this very constrained movement. The other one is I, on this particular one, um, they're heading up Yester Hill. So this is a going up the hill. I wanted to do the same thing, but I wanted to do it with fog. So I have this fog button on here. I turn it on and now the players have their, their everything's covered in fog. This is the exact same thing in the lighting, only in this case, my lighting element here is uh, swirling fog, animation intensity, and to give it that fog look, if you invert the uh, absorption on the advanced options for lighting colorization technique, invert, invert absorption, it kind of looks more like fog. You know, it looks sort of like a, a swirling fog out there. I don't have it moving too fast in there, but you can kind of see. I'm just using a lighting effect uh, for like fog. Now, because I have these walls the way they're set up here, you can see my character can't see up the walls. I have one-way walls here. Um, this one's an invisible wall, so they can go up as they go up to the next level. Each one of these is a 100-foot cliff. So they can see down, they just can't see up. So if they go down, they can't see back, back up. Okay, and same thing up here. So I just wanted to include this fog in there so as they're going up. And you can turn that on and off. That's I wanted to be able to have it so that as the game master, you can say, oh, I don't want any fog right now. I just want the light. <laughs> I have another light in there, too, to add some atmosphere. That's this one here. I want to kind of this, this, this colored atmosphere going on here, too. So I've just been working on my next module, and I came up with this idea. I thought I'd just share it with you guys. Hey, if you like it, please click the like button. Hit subscribe. If you're interested in the Curse of Strahd modules, there's over 30 of them right now for Foundry that I've made with really detailed, long videos. You can go ahead and check those out. A couple of them I made free for the community. So thanks very much. This is Parm King signing off until next time. May all your roles be critically successful.